I found out my first Christmas season in Germany that markets were my jam. My first year I went to nine markets as solo day trips. In 2020, I made it to one market before the season shut down. Last year I traveled to 16 markets as day and overnight trips and in combination of solo and with friends and family. While I've spontaneously shown up at markets, my last Christmas season I planned an elaborate calendar. Hi, I'm Narissa Alford, a volunteer with the USO Ramstein and EMEA. I'm an avid solo traveling day tripper and passionate about helping others travel while living in Europe. In this video, I'll help you get started planning your Christmas market trips and show you some of my favorites. My number one tip for Christmas market planning is to follow the official market sources. Most all of them have a website and or social media. They are very good at updating changes to the schedules. Some of the towns have a separate site just for Christmas markets. With the official websites, you can find information on parking, vendors including food and gifts, and maps. I found that some towns organize parking and close some of my regular lots. And as a general rule for all trips, make a stop at the tourism office. There's normally a toilet there and I pick up my town map. My first form of research was to use this Facebook group to decide what markets I was interested in attending. I go to enjoy the ambiance and take photos, and this group was perfect to help decide. As I went to more markets, I started collecting the mugs for the hot beverages. You will pay for the drink and a deposit called the fan. You will get your fan back when you return the mug. If you want to keep it, consider that the cost of the mug. Many people collect them as part of the market experience. I also collect the wooden die cut ornaments. Some of these can be bought year around. I've also bought some from castles. If you've never been to a Christmas market, you are in for a treat. The towns are decorated with lights and decor. There are vendors selling handmade wares and yummy treats. Many of the markets offer live entertainment or demonstrations. I enjoyed the Ferris wheel in several towns to get a beautiful view. What's your favorite market food? As you look at the photos, you'll notice a lot of French food has German items. I visited mostly Alsace, France and German markets. There's a lot of historic crossover, including the food. I won't be narrating this part of the video. My German pronunciation is laughable. I've added text with photos, and you can look at the food section of my market post on the blog. Keep in mind when you're planning, weekdays and earlier on in the day are less crowded. My favorite time to go is late afternoon into evening. I love to photograph golden hour into night when the lights come on. Not all markets run every day. Some are just on the weekends. Make sure to check for special events such as demonstrations, music events, and appearances. I didn't plan it, but I saw St. Nick on St. Nicholas Day in Heidelberg. For markets with kids areas, I recommend Luxembourg City, in Germany, Heidelberg and Wiesbaden, in France, Colmar, Strasbourg, and Nancy, and any of the medieval markets. I've been to both Saint Vendel in Germany and Ribavo in France. Thanks for joining us on this Time to Travel Christmas Market Edition. I have more information including write-ups, links, and maps to specific markets on my blog, Marissa Alford Designs. Feel free to ask me any questions and I'd be happy to help out. Happy Holidays!